Welcome to the April video tutorial of Katie's Card and Craft Club. Follow along with your written instructions as I demo the April Explosion card. And this month you get all the instructions and your templates and a bonus sheet of sayings that can be used for any type of card, a Mother's Day card, birthday thank you, and some sayings that can be used on the inside of the explosion. Let's see, let's begin with the card front on this very simple card. Uh, don't let the four pages of instructions fool you. I want to include plenty of photos just so you could see how easy this card is. So we're going to begin with a A2 card base. And then I have this beautiful Basil, or I guess they call it Basil, card stock that has an embossing uh, clear element to it. You could skip, skip this step if you like. I'm going to use it because it adds an extra dimension and all you're going to do is place adhesive all the way around and then you're going to line that up so we have an equal border all the way around, equal white border. And then the next step is in step two, we're going to cut a five inch piece of twill tape or a heavyweight ribbon. And you're going to just fold this in half, one end in half. And then let me get a pair of very sharp scissors. I like to keep a pair of scissors just for ribbon because it really does make a difference. You'll get nice, crisp, clean edges on your ribbon. Now I'm going to cut at a 45 degree angle towards the end of the ribbon. And I'm just going to cut right through that. And that will give us a nice tail on the ribbon. And then I'm just going to turn that over and I'm going to apply adhesive on the back. Just run my adhesive right down the back. If you want, you could put a piece of red sticky tape on there if you want. Sometimes pulling on the ribbon uh, changes the shape, so the red sticky tape would be fine. And then I'm going to center that in about the middle of the card. Get it all the way to the edge. Flip my card over. I'm going to open up the card so I can see a little better. And then I'm just going to use the side of the card as an edge to trim that off flush. And again, use those very sharp scissors so you don't get any fraying there. And then we're going to move on to step three. And step three tells you to cut out some of your sayings on the bonus sheet that I gave you. You'll need one square saying, so just cut inside the gray lines to get a one inch square. Then you need three one inch squares of coordinating paper. And then I cut out one of the celebrates that comes with your April bonus section. And then we're going to adhere the one inch sayings evenly, so it almost looks, almost looks like a window pane there. And the dimensions I gave you in your set is you're going to start out with a 2 and 3 eighths square. And remember to tell where 3 eighths is because if if you're not doing this a lot, sometimes it's confusing. Uh, you, the lower number tells you how many marks per inch. So three eighths, there would be eight marks per inch. So you count up three of those in, uh, marks and you'll get three eighths. And then if you also would like to, for an added dimension, I gave you um, another dimension if you want to add one layer. But for this card, I'm going to keep it very simple. And um, I've added all my one inch squares there. And now I've put phone tape on the back. So I'm going to remove the phone tape. And then I'm just going to place that with this center uh, line right down the middle. And try to align the top here with the line on your square. And then the Celebrate, I also lined with foam tape. You don't need to, but every time you add foam tape, it just adds a little bit of extra dimension. And then I'm just going to try to line that up, make that straight, and press down. So there we have a very quick front card front. I'm going to show you a couple here where I didn't use the extra layer behind. And it looks fine too. It gives a 
quite a clean and simple look to it. And here's another one. Um, Grow Grain Ribbon really works well for this card. It's a heavyweight ribbon as well as the twill tape works nicely too. And then here's a card that I did the card front using the paper that we're going to use for our next project that I'll be dem demonstrating for April. And this makes a cute kids card. Okay, so let's move on now to the explosion part of this card. Very simple, looks really impressive. Let's see, I can give you a little demo here. This is what we're going for. Um, if you're using a card that is um, in this dimension, this would be your explosion. And for the, our card today, the explosion is going to work this way. This is going to be our May project for the KT's Card and Craft Club. It's a box that will hold up to four cards and envelopes. Very quick and simple idea. It makes a great gift and you will get all the instructions and a design for two cards to go inside the box. 